Hey friends, it's Sonya from Drug Monkey Paint Company. How's everybody out there doing? Happy Friday, we made it through the week, yay! So I thought I would do my vlog today of a different sort. A lot of you guys, a lot of times you guys tend to see me do a lot of DIY stuff on here, which is what I love to do. You can't hide what's inside, but true story, you also can't hide uh, what's on the outside too, right? You guys have been noticing some changes recently in me. And uh, every once in a while, I've been telling you guys um, and answering your questions and telling you that, yes, I have been eating differently, and yes, I have lost a ton of weight. How much exactly? I found out this past week, and I'm going to share it with you guys in this vlog. I will in this vlog. So this vlog is about um, some changes I've made, but also, since we're talking about outward appearance, I got my August Epsi bag. Oh, gosh, I love it. Not only the fact that it comes in this really cool pinky fuchsia purple envelope that just makes me happy. Um, I'm so excited because I never know what they're gonna send me. It's so fun. It's happy mail, right? And I am a girl on a budget. You guys, I'm sitting right here at my desk right now. You're gonna hear lots of traffic go by because this is the real deal. This is real life. Um, so anyway, this is $9.99 a month and I've been doing this probably honestly, probably two years to be totally honest with you. And they send me every single month one of these pouches. It's always different theme. I love this. Oh gosh, look at a little tassel. Who else loves tassels? Peach and yellow. It says Epsi right there. They're all different styles and you never know what's going to be in them. So for 10 bucks, it's kind of like fun in a bag, number one. Number two, it's all makeup and perfume. You can do a profile, that sort of thing. I'll put my referral link below. I think what happens at the end of the day, if you decide to sign up through my uh, referral link, you get points. I get points that we could possibly redeem. I had to go ahead and check my points. Um, to get some uh, free makeup, which is fun, right? So just fun. But this is nice because it introduces you to different sorts of brands that are around. And I don't have time. Like, yes, I, I love makeup. I do. And I feel like I'm starting to really, really enjoy it more. Like, I started watching Jeffree Star with Kate. Yeah, here in the shop. So I kind of like watch Jeffree Star. But anyway, now I'm like, I feel like, you know, I've always been a painter, DIYer, putting paint on objects. And now I'm starting to enjoy as I get older a little bit of makeup. Now I totally understand now where makeup artists are coming from, right? So this is my little stash that I get every single month and I never know what's into it, but I get all kinds of fun stuff, right? And so it just, like I say, introduces me to brands that I didn't know. Also, I get to pick up uh, products that I don't have to go to the store to get by really nice brand names. And be like, oh, I never thought about using that before. So what is this? This is a Beauty Blush Duo Peach Honey. Can you guys see that? Like, how pretty is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Peach Honey, honey. So um, I'll be trying this this week, okay? You watch for this right here on these cheeks. On these cheeks bones. All right, let's see what this is. Volume spray. I got some volume spray. So this is a lightweight bodybuilding mist that adds long lasting volume to fine flat hair. Ooh, I do like me some big hair. True story. All right, so we'll have to give that a shot. Okay, that's a win-win. This is, it says New York Organic uh, Infused Nail Liqueur. Liqueur kind of gives me an idea that maybe it's going to be durable, much more durable. Oh, I had, well, I had, a, I don't know if it's the same name or not, but this kind of reminds me of something I had before. Actually, it's this gray stuff that I have on. Um, that I also got through Epsi that I love. See what I'm saying? Like, I love, I love, love, love that color, right? It's just this really pretty pink color. And um, I'm gonna try that this week. I'm gonna even put this on my nails today, just for fun, because I think I love it, right? <laughs> oh, man. You see what I'm saying for $9.99? I mean, by the time you get in your car, by the time you get ready to go to the store, by the time you put yourself through the store, you probably get more stuff than you already need. And uh, you check out, who's that time to be looking through all that stuff, right? And so this is why I love it. All right, what else is in here? False Lashes Extreme Black. Ooh, my, this must be a mascara. Ooh, look at that. So basically, it's a little, um, it's a little sort of, you know, there's something on this mascara. Mascara makes your eye, man. So, okay, now I gotta do the other side because let's just be honest, if we're gonna do one side, we gotta do a little bit on the other right there, all right? I, I can't walk, I can't go through the day on balance like that. So, a little bit of something to try there. Dark, dark black, we'll give it a shot. And last but not least, this is Body Blur Advanced Organics Medium Dark. What is this? A skin finish? It says it's the original Instagram filter in a tube. People, I have hit the jackpot. The original Instagram filter in a tube. Say what? You have my attention now. Revolutionary technology minimizes blemishes, covers imperfections, and smooth skin for an HD ready skin finish. All right. Now, Okay, this is really cool. It says, use very sparingly, apply in small dots across your skin, blend in a long circular movement, 
and then wash your hands after use. Okay, you see what I'm saying? Like right here, an Instagram filter in a tube. Listen, you need to get on this train because this right here, and it's a medium dark, let's see. Let's see what it comes out like. See, oh actually, yes, yes, I could see how that would work. I could see how that would work. Ooh, this is really nice. It's almost like a bronzer sort of like, um, Ooh, really evens out your skin tone. All right, so I am liking that. I'm gonna give this a shot. So watch for me over on Instagram. I am on Instagram, by the way. We'll see if we try our Instagram filter. Maybe I should do a live where I put that all over my face and be like, do I look like an Instagram filter? So this said, oh, this is funny. So they do a theme for every month and it says selfie with no filter. So that makes sense given what we just saw. Are you ready to glow? Your glam bag is five personalized picks and tons of skincare tips on Ipsy to help you feel and look radiant all year round. You heard Matt, Matt just come through the studio. Hey Matt, how are you? I'm good. Babe, I'm gonna look so gorgeous because I'm serious. Yeah, I'm here. I caught that on video. That was good. I'm gonna have to save that or play that back later. That's, that's why I said it. So I have proof that I say something. Friday just got better. All right, what do you want from me? All right, but yeah, I get the bag too, right? So, like I say, for nine ninety nine, um, for me, um, you know, that's a you know that that has been a quick stop at like a gas station on my way home to get me my Pepsi, my Doritos, my chocolate, my M and M's, all that sort of stuff yeah, in a bag. Yes, and this is what this vlog is about, which is this is a wonderful lead in. So that money that I saved, <laughs> it's now a little little splurge back to me, some self-love, all right? So I'm gonna be putting that into the bathroom and making use of that this week. So here's a true story. Matt did just get back. He was on an air run for us, and this is what he brought back to me right here. Turkey and bacon cob salad, okay? So there you go. So this is what I'm having for lunch, and I have a big water as well, because water is always good, no matter whether or not what diet you're on, right? Your body needs water. Um, but this is really cool because I have been, and Matt as well, so he may chime in in the background as well, that we have both been on a keto journey together. We started, what, three months ago, I want to say it's been? I think it's been. <laughs> there are days that really Matt, that Matt misses his pasta and um, bread. Listen, if you start talking about that, you know what? You just brought up Boston. I never thought about Boston. I know. I know. It's rough, man. Um, so Matt's been struggling, struggling definitely more than me. I'm an all or none kind of person, right? Like, um, if I'm into something, I have to be all into it. And then if I cheat, I feel really bad or like I feel guilt, not bad, but just guilty inside. Like, oh, I lost, you know what I mean? Because I am competitive with my own self that way to be like, I got to get this done. If I set a goal, I want to get it done, right? Um, but basically the keto, as spelled K-E-T-O, you guys have been asking me, what have you been doing different? And that is, we're basically doing the keto diet. And so if you look it up in a nutshell, I tend to find a lot of my recipes and a lot of information about it right here on YouTube, which you guys are watching this, I'm sure, on this right now. Um, so if you go over to the search bar and you type that in, you'll find all kinds of channels devoted to it, right? Like recipes, daily blogs, when it comes to what people are eating. But basically it's where you train your body not to focus on sugars, but now it's gonna be burning you know, and, and not in seek of carbs because carbs break down into sugar, right? Um, whereas now you go not in search of carbs, but what, rather you go towards fats, healthy fats, fats that are good for you, and your body turns into a fat burning machine, right? And so I know, I heard this too, and I'm like, what? It sounds great, but really, like somehow will my body trigger inside when I stop eating Doritos and M&Ms and all those wonderful things because I have a sweet tooth. And I seriously, like, like this morning, I had already this morning, I had turkey sausages and I had, um, bacon. No, no, I didn't have time to make bacon. Typically I have bacon as well, but I had uh, two eggs fried as well with that. And then I had my, uh, my bullet coffee, which is, I seriously put butter into it. I put a big scoop of coconut oil into it. I like a little bit of Splenda just to sweeten it. And I do heavy cream. And so you're thinking that's a lot of fat. And that's the thing. It is a lot of fat. And so what's going to happen is probably it takes about a week or so. And then you're going to start to see some changes. But I was really like skeptical, like, would this really work? Because I've tried things in the past and I've gotten brain fog. I'm somebody who does a lot of mental work, but also a lot of physical work. And uh, in times in the past, I think I almost like starved myself sometimes eating nothing but salads. And yes, you're seeing me eat a salad today, but I also have had all that stuff that I already told you about this morning, right? And so with a salad like this, what I love to do is just take an avocado, which is a healthy fat, and cut it up and put it on top of this as well. So this is an example of a salad that I found that I love. And it's got eggs in it, it's got ham in it, so it's got some protein into it, but it has eight carbohydrates, 
and two dietary fibers, which means that in the keto world, you basically do net carbs. And so you do eight uh, grams of carbs, two dietary fiber equals six grams of carbs, okay? So I aim to do 20 to 30 carbs a day. Like that is my lowest. So it kind of like makes you go, okay, how do I want to use my carbs? I don't want to go in search of sugar. So, you know, for example, uh, here in the shop, oh man, I love my sweets. Uh, the girls had Jolly Ranchers one day and I picked up a Jolly Rancher they offered me. And I looked at, I said, let me just check the back first. And I looked at it and it was like 14 carbs in one candy. I don't know about you, but there was a time when I would just like, I didn't even include candy into my diet because I did not even think of them as carbs, right? And so when you start cutting all that stuff out and you start becoming more aware, you just totally start eating differently. And so um, I still get to eat all the meats that I owe that I did before, but now like the things like I talked about, I don't do the pastas, I don't do the breads, um, no potatoes, which is hard for me because oh man, I love making potatoes, right? And so now like what I do gravitate towards in vegetables is stuff like asparagus, um, I do broccoli, I do cauliflower, we do squashes. What else do we do? I'm trying to think here. Mushrooms we have from time to time. Um, sometimes I'll just get one of those mixed steam bags and throw in, like throw some meat on the George Foreman and then do a steamer bag of vegetables to go with it. But you tend to want to stay away from vegetables that, are, that have uh, a lot of sugars in them because they're natural sugars, which if there's anything that's good, go with the sugars that come from nature versus the processed sugars, but you still want to avoid it as much as possible, right? So um, did we track? No, because there's something that's called you tracking your macros. And so if you, you start to look at this program, and it's not a paid program, that's another question I get, like how much are you paying for this? Nothing, not a zip, I'm just educating myself with, okay, what food should I eat and what should I avoid, right? So now I don't do the sodas and the Pepsis. I remember I would crash every afternoon at about three o'clock and I'd have to get a Pepsi and then I'd you know, basically pet myself back up and there is a Dollar General next to my store here in the back parking lot. I would go over and I'd get my Pepsi, my Doritos and my M&Ms or my chocolate bars or cookies with a big old jug of fresh milk. Like seriously, I am a sweets lover. And so I had to break myself of that. But this is the first time I ever ate a program like a certain way, because it's really not a program, it's just a certain way that you choose to live when you understand how your body burns fat versus sugar. Um, and so we don't track anything. And so now we just make different choices, right? And so with the tracking, you can get really, really crazy with the tracking to get that 20 to 30 carbs. I just kind of do it now. I just look in the back and go, okay, so this is gonna be six carbs today. What else am I gonna have that doesn't put me over the 20 to 30 range, right? Um, let me think, what else can I tell you? So we do what's called lazy keto because it's not that we're lazy, it's that we are so busy, we don't have time to do that, right? You guys know I talk about, I am not OCD. I love my work to be, be imperfectly shabby and distressed and time-worn, and I understand that nothing in life is absolutely perfect. And so for me, what is a better decision is trying to eat in this manner versus trying to get crazy and be like, I gotta track all this stuff and not having time to do it, and then not even doing it. Did we weigh ourselves? I did not. Matt weighed himself probably about what, maybe a month or so, a month and a half after we started doing it. But we just started eating better on the run. Do you know what I'm saying? So it came to the point where um, last week, I somewhere around there was about three months mm -hmm. and I had to go because I also have hypothyroidism. Okay, so my thyroid doesn't work correctly. Anybody else out there suffering with that? Because it is very, very common and it's common to speak to people anymore and they also tell you that they're also suffering for hypo or hyper. So mine's hypo. And um, so it's easy to like gain weight and um, you know, you can see my neck is kind of swollen. Since I've done keto, the swelling has gone down. I feel so much better. Oh my goodness. Like I will always, um, I will always eat this way. And once I get to, you know, like where I, where I really, really want to be and um, continue to eat better and just continue to feel good. I have a little bit more work I want to do in my body. I have not been going to the gym. It's just been purely, you know, uh, what you fuel your body is what you get out of it and there is a saying that says you know abs trust me i'm still this is the part i'm talking about i gotta do some work yet okay but um that abs are made in the kitchen not in the gym and what that means is it's what you put in your mouth and what your your body's a temple and it's what you put in your body that causes a lot of changes to happen and sometimes you, may, you might think you have to go to the gym and you have to do a ton of like you know treadmill work all this work over here when really what you have to do is just change how you're eating and so i have definitely been a testament to that because we have not been to the gym not not at not once so because we haven't had time right we just we just i've been so busy at work and so we don't track, um, but about, let me see, how far in was I? Three months, 
when I went to the doctor, and I'm gonna get to it and tell you how much I lost in three months. But I wanna tell you at first that um, I chose not to weigh myself because to me it was not important. Like weight to me doesn't have to be a number in the scale. I just knew that I was not at my best because I felt frumpy. I felt like tired. I, you know, I there was days even I felt like more sweaty and because I was carrying extra weight than, you know, what I felt comfortable with. You know what I'm saying? And so you know yourself when you got fog brain or you need a Pepsi pick me up in the middle, middle of the afternoon or you, you eat so much carbs and you're not doing vegetables anymore and instead your chips, I mean like full size serving of chips like family size. Mm -mm, I wasn't sharing. That was all mine. I would eat chips on the way home. I would lay in bed at night, turn my Netflix on, my YouTube on, eat chips. And I'm a munch so it was so so hard but I started noticing um, changes like for example at towards the end of the summer here I put on a pair of my jeans one night uh, the, the evening was cooler and I put on my jeans and I hadn't worn them you know all summer but they were last my last time I did have them out I did wear them I folded them up they're in this in the corner I put them on again to wear them a second time and when I put them on I could notice like holy moly like you know, because I wear a lot of, um, you guys see me, I wear a lot of stretchy pants. I love my, you know, my, um, my, my jeggings, all the stretchy sort of stuff when I paint for flexibility. And so when I put a pair of jeans on, I was like, wow, I can't remember I put, where last time I put on a pair of jeans. And now I'm like, I can like fit my thumbs down inside my waistband. I can see where I had stretched them before just from like when I wore them. And I really started, I could feel the difference in my legs. They were stretched out like on, on the thighs and my hips you know, my waist, all, you know, all those areas. And so that's when I was like, wow, this is really working. You know, I put my belt on and my belt came in um, way like, you know, to a different loop than I did before. Matt, I remember waking up and you putting your clothes on kind of going through the same thing too, huh? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, but we we'd never weighed ourselves. And so um, then Matt eventually did weigh himself and Matt right before, how many weeks was that before I went and got weighed myself? About two, about two weeks before I got weighed myself and went to the doctor you know how they do that little stuff like hey you know take off your shoes stand up let's see how tall you are this is the last time you've been here and how much weight you lost guys both me and Matt in a period of time which is let's just say three months ish months ish lost each 30 pounds both of us 30 pounds and um, I never I've never I didn't even know I had that. I mean, you know, you think you have that much to lose, but you're like, where will it go? Like, I don't even know what it would feel like to be 30 pounds less. And now I do because I feel it. I, I, not only do I see it on the outside, but I also feel it inside. And I'm going to tell you, it has been terrific. And what's been terrific about it is the fact that I haven't been paying for it. I've just been making different, better choices, understanding now how my body works. I haven't had time to go to the gym, and so it doesn't make me feel guilty when I can't get there, right? Because I've been so busy with work, and as this young monkey grows and doing what we do here behind the scenes, making sure you guys get all your happy mail all over the country. So um, we've always been a go, 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 right? And so I I'm just absolutely thrilled. And so at this point now, we're feeling really good with where we are. I'm going to continue to eat keto, but. At this point, I've been strictly doing keto, right? And so I've been really, really um, just disciplined in doing that. And now I'm at the point where like uh, the last two weekends I've treated myself and um, gone out and I've got a burger with the bun on it, okay? Not an excess, but to do that. And so I kind of reward myself now because I really feel I'm in a good zone uh, with where I am that um, I will treat myself to something on the weekends that I want. You know, like last weekend I had, um, what were they called, French twirls where the frostiness piped into them. I was just craving that. And so, you know what, that's what I treated myself with, right? But when you look at keto, the reason why I treat myself now is because I didn't want to take myself out of what was called ketosis. And ketosis is when you get so far into that fat burning process that you don't interrupt it. Because when you do feed your body sugar, then, you know, you take yourself out of that. And so you're not a fat burning machine anymore. So you can, guys can go do all the research on that part of it. And then what I'm saying will make sense. But I'm at the point now where if I want to take myself out of ketosis and treat myself, I can because I've done a lot of hard work and I'm doing it in moderation. Does that make sense? And so, but, but if you do some research, you'll really begin to understand. And so, you know, tonight when we go home, I've already got planned out what I'm going to make for supper. I'm picking up a head of broccoli when I go home and I used to make this Oh, love it broccoli salad and I haven't made it since I was on keto and it just occurred to me this week 
and uh, it's just you know cut up raw broccoli really really small so like bite size throw some mayonnaise in there yes you can have mayonnaise because that's fat you know what I mean that, that's a good thing for you um, and apple cider vinegar which is a really good thing for you I'm gonna do some bacon and um, just kind of like you know um, crisp it up in my George Foreman and then sprinkle it into my my um, my salad as well and then I'll probably use a few drops of stevia just to kind of sweeten it and it's a really nice like summer broccoli salad who's had that one before oh and a little bit of uh, bread onion as well really like minced really really fine and throw some cheese in there too throw some cheese in there too shred it um like sharp cheddar cheese oh my gosh broccoli salad and then I'll probably pick up two uh pork chops two or three pork chops decide if Riley wants to have a pork chop with us or not probably three you want to have pork chops today Riley he said eh. I think that's a yes so, um, you know, but the thing is you can have chicken, you can have pork chops, you can have red meat, whatever you want, right? I have still heat hot, hot dogs. I just don't do the bun. Um, I still have sausage all the time. And again, just I'm avoiding the bun, right, that goes with it. And then for my condiments, so for example, when I do have the pork chops tonight that I'm going to grill my George Foreman with my broccoli salad, um, I found that there are, and the longer you get into keto and you really start uh, looking for things, you realize that you can find everything you need out there minus all that sugar, right? And so we have a ketchup now, and I forget the brand that makes it, but um, it's a ketchup and it has no sugar. I also have a, um, a barbecue sauce that I found that I love that has no sugar as well, right? And uh, no carbs. And so, you know, to be able to put nice little things like that on it that, you know, what otherwise you thought you would miss, but now you have alternatives. And there are a lot of companies now out there um, because keto is becoming so big and people are trying to lose the carbs, right? Moment on the lips forever on the hips, who's here with me and knows exactly what I'm talking about. And so, um, you know, you can find more things. And so, you know, I do things like if I want a cookie, there's mm -hmm. a thing called a quest cookie. Okay. And so, you know, stuff like that. I found that a place where I, you know, one of my favorite th ways to treat myself is whipped cream. Whipped cream as less than one carb. I'm up. <sighs> When I go home at the at the night, that is like something I treat myself with, or like in a big old you know bowl, and then I take some dark uh, chocolate chips and throw on top of that. That's a, that's an amazing treat. That's my favorite treat. Sometimes I do it on top of strawberries. I picked up some blackberries last night, so I'm probably gonna do some. Love my sound effects. Uh, whipped cream on top of um, blackberries tonight. But you know, you just begin to realize that you can have things that satisfy you. Um, now, let me just tell you, do you have days when you could probably like give in to all those cravings? Yes. But if you remember, well, if you're seeing changes, that will motivate you because you're, you're, you know, you're doing this work and you're sacrificing something and then you begin to see a change and you understand your why that makes you be able to cling on to it longer, right? Because for me now, I feel better. Um, I just, I, I don't know, I have a better clarity of mind. I'm not so tired as I used to be. I don't have crashes in the afternoon. I don't feel like, I don't feel fluffy like I did before, sweaty like I did before. Um, I don't have the brain fog that I did before. And so um, for me, I don't know, I think things are sharper for me now and I'm definitely the better version of me that I was aiming to be, right? And so at the end of the day, that's why I didn't weigh myself. And for you guys, you know, um, the number on the scale is just a number on the scale. At the end of the day, if you feel good, and you feel like a better version of you, then you have just won. You've gained a whole lot of great, great things happening, right? And so who cares about the number, but it's how you feel. So, you know, if you do it and you don't feel good, then that's not a good thing for you, right? Don't just do things because you, sh you know, uh, because this is cool to do this over here or, you know, all, all the things that go with it. Do what makes sense for you if your body feels right. So for me, uh, it's been a great journey. Matt, would you say that it's been a big transformation for you as well and that you've yeah. been happy with it? Yeah, and I'm, I'm a gym guy, so yeah. that makes a big difference now I've been injured, so. Yes. So Matt hasn't been feeling his best because he had some injuries and uh, hasn't been able to get to the gym. So doing the keto um, with me and being able to support each other and try to keep each other on the train literally um the fact that you again you can make those gains and know that you you know you can make changes whether you can get to the gym or not is just a great wonderful feeling so this is my vlog this week yeah baby 30 pounds pretty cool you guys have been seeing me do, do my lives and you've been noticing i forget i read something the other day and it said you know it takes so many weeks for you to see a change and then it takes so many weeks for your friends to be able to see a change i think that's how it goes right and things just start to hang a little differently 
Um, but the thing is to keep going because the time will pass anyway. So every single day. The other thing I've noticed on um, the keto, doing the keto as well, is that um, I don't, uh, for me, I don't feel hungry. Like I have to make myself eat. With all the stuff that I've eaten this morning already, I'm going to eat this um, and to continue to give myself, um, you know, the nutrients and the fat and then to keep it going. But this is the first time I've ever done anything like this, like that's food oriented, um, where I'm, I'm eating a certain food sort of way. And I have not felt like I'm starving. Like I'm like, I get to eat bacon and I'm not starving. I'm putting butter in my coffee in the morning and I'm not starving. It's because you're giving your body uh, fats to be able to break down and to work and to keep yourself sustained throughout the day, right? And a lot of times with sugar, you know, your body processes sugar and you're on a high and you're on a low, you know what I mean? It, it's crazy, the spikes of sugar that you can get. So now I definitely feel more even keel and um, and I got this, I totally got this. And I got this now, this salad, and I'm going to go eat my lunch. So thank you guys for watching this vlog. Happy Friday. Maybe some of you guys feel inspired to as well do the keto journey. Do what at the very end of the day, what is best for you. Maybe talk to your doctor, do what you got to do to make sure that, you know, because everybody's different, everybody's body types are different, everybody's on different medications, all that sort of stuff. So I always say, I ain't a doctor. Yeah, check with your doctor and make sure. But uh, for me, I'm not taking any pills or anything like that. And the only supplement I take is a uh, multivitamin as well. Okay, so that's it. That's all I do. So, and I'm kind of a girl that, you know, like the, the you know, other than my thyroid medication, the I'm not somebody who enjoys um, or trying like different medicines if I haven't taken it before because I have a very sensitive body that you know reacts really really quickly. So like Advil, even taking two Advil, you got to push them down. I mean, it's got to be a bad headache to take two Advil. So for me to be able to do something that where I don't have to buy a shake and wonder what's in it, and I have food allergies, and or you know I don't have to take this slimming pill, I'm not that kind of person, right? So this for me has just been a natural way. And understanding how it works to um, combine it with my everyday life so pretty darn cool all right guys so that is my vlog for today I will see you guys again for another vlog remember on Tuesdays Wednesdays and Fridays I always do a upload here on YouTube it is a behind-the-scenes look something a little bit different than you're not seeing over on my main pages right so this is something I want to talk with you guys about right here on my vlog because a lot of you guys have been asking about it and so i would love it if you would subscribe to our channel be sure to hit the bell that gives you notifications every time i do another upload here to youtube and leave me a comment below did you enjoy this vlog did you get some ideas are you uh are you shocked that i lost 30 pounds like holy moly where did it even go i don't know but i ain't looking for it sister all right see you guys later bye